And now the Hansons and Hiatus podcast with Nate and Alexis. Happy Friday, fuckers. It is episode 56 of the Hanses on Hiatus podcast. I am your host, Nate, and this is my wife, Alexis. Hey, guys. How's it going? And don't forget <laughs> to support the podcast, buymeacoffee.com forward slash Hanses on Hiatus. You can buy us some virtual beers, mm-hmm. and we will happily virtually drink them in real life. Yeah. If that makes sense? No, probably not. Drink them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe on Spotify, YouTube. You can see the videos there, the video cast, the v- do they call them vodcasts? Vod. Vid. Video. Vid-cast? You can call them videocasts or vodcasts, I oh. think. Uh, something mm. like that. Yeah. Interesting. But uh, <laughs> then you can also follow us on Instagram at Hansons on Hiatus, uh, iTunes, Google Podcast, any other podcast app you use. Let us know if we're not on it and we'll get on it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this past weekend was uh, Easter and we didn't have a ton planned. Um, I think for. Friday, uh, it was after my mom had left, yep. and we were feeling kind of lazy, uh, just kind of like recuperating from my parents being here for two and a half months. Yeah, and so we decided <laughs> to go get some uh, some KFC or some or- to order some KFC. Yes, and the only reason we did this was because I was <laughs> I was just scrolling through Facebook. So these advertisements do work, apparently. <laughs> they do. Yeah, <laughs> they get us. <laughs> yeah, and we're scrolling through Facebook, and I see this advertisement for KFC Mexico. And they have Snoopy watches. And you are a giant Snoopy fan. You're a Snoopaholic. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> so I thought it. Uh, I thought. 40. Yeah. So I, I thought it would be a good idea for um, uh, to, to order some food. And then we could get some of these free Snoopy watches. It's a win-win because you wanted KFC and you probably thought I'd be like, eh. And then you're like, look at these Snoopy watches. Like, I, was like, I want them all. Yeah. <laughs> Order them all. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they have they're little like digital watches and they come with a kid's meal. So obviously they're in a, they're yeah. for kids. But we didn't care. I don't and care. It, it was like it'll fit me. <laughs> I think the kids meal was six bucks or something like that. Five, six bucks. Yeah. So so we got two kids meals. So we would get two watches and we're, you're like message the driver to make sure because this is like a third party app kind of like uber eats mm-hmm. and he's like mess you were like message the driver to make sure he gets i'm like no i don't want to tell him because he might steal the 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 watches out he's not going to steal them we're already confirming that we know they're going to be there if they're in our order no yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think that would have been a good idea i was like we just got to let it roll yeah. <laughs> so i had a bad feeling i did it. too because nothing ever that we're supposed to get extra dev, doesn't come especially from fucking kfc they have this <laughs> ice cream called big cream uh, with a with a K, yes. and they sell like a like a pint of ice cream from mm-hmm. KFC, which I was like, oh, that's crazy. They don't do that in the U.S. as far as I know. How is it? Uh, I don't know because we know. ordered it and they didn't give it to us multiple times. Yeah. KFC, we we're pissed at you. We yeah. got a bone to pick. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they're always having issues at that one, but they built a new one recently. So I'm there hoping we can get shit from them. But anyway, go. so we order it. The bag comes. I'm all excited. I go down and I bring it up. And open it up, and no watches. <sighs> I knew it. Yeah. I wasn't going to get my hopes up. I knew it. <laughs> I know. But it, it's so frustrating. So they did give us uh, a puzzle and some playing cards. Great. Yeah. Thanks for the fucking 1800s gifts there, <laughs> KFC. <laughs> They're like Shit. Spanish dinosaurs or something. Yeah. I don't even know what this is. Yeah. They might as well have given us one of those little wheels with a stick that you just roll yeah. it through the yard. Or, or the whatever. little cup thing with the ball. Oh, yeah. Or that, too. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Fucking something. We want the Snoopy watches. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I, I hate these apps that. Um, and I'm pretty sure Uber Eats is somewhat like this. The Mexican ones, uh, Rappi that we use, probably their issue is like you can't message the the restaurant directly right. or they can't message you and say, hey, we're out of this. They just like fill it with whatever. So yeah. order Subway or, or whatever and they're out of cookies. Uh, they give you like a bag of chips. You order a Coke Zero, they'll give you a Sprite. And it's like a regular Coke. Yeah, a regular Coke <laughs> or whatever. But it's just like it's not the thing that you ordered. So. Right. And we wanted to complain about this. I mean, not complain, but, you know, be like, hey, where's our, you know, fucking thing? We bought this just because of that. My children want these Snoopy watches is what I said. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. But My you, 40-year-old children. Yeah, but you can't, re- it, it's a free thing. Yeah. It's like a Happy Meal toy. So it's like, I didn't technically pay for the toy, so. But maybe we did. Isn't yeah. the toy built into the meal? Because let's be real, the little kid's meal is like six, seven bucks, like you were saying. 
it's tiny little portions, you know. It was a little cup of yeah. mashed potatoes. It was mine was actually Which good. It, it was, was little, more than I thought it would be. It was. It was a little box of, you know, chicken, popcorn chicken or whatever, but then, you know, like where Where's the good toy? You're giving me the shitty toys. I want the good right. toy. And so I wonder if they took them. I yeah. felt like I've been, you know, five years old all over again or whatever. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> did you message them? I did. No, no response? Uh, they just, they refunded us 50 pesos, which I did not want the refund. See, and that's I not fair. It, like, I, I don't, I don't think the business should be out money because they still did give us our food, but it's right. like. Let us know if you're not going to be giving us this thing. Exactly. Yeah. And I said that, too, because it was like, hey, rate the um, customer service. So I rate I gave them five stars. Obviously, it was like, do you have a picture? Do you want to say anything else? So I sent the picture of the toys and the picture of the Snoopy watch ad and was just like, we didn't want this refund. We just wanted these toys. You know, we were looking for these toys and you could actually select what was missing from the bag. And the Snoop, it said, you know, the right. Regala, or Ra- I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the watch for the Snoopy watch, and they, you know, still didn't say anything about it. They're just like, "Here's Rude. some money back." I'm like, Ugh. yeah. <sighs> so we learned. Yeah, we live and we learn. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, and I hate people that will be like, "Oh, well, it's Mexico," you know. Da-da-da. It's like, no, that's yeah. not an excuse. You can't yeah. tell me that there's not some Mexican family and their little niñas wants uh, like a, a Snoopy watch, yeah. and they're they're not upset that they didn't get it. They're not going, "Well, it's Mexico," you know. It's exactly. like that people here can be upset about things not going the correct way as well. Exactly. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> but speaking about um, real bad deliveries, <laughs> so, um. Hopefully my brother and my dad and my <laughs> my, uh, my brother's girlfriend aren't listening to this because I was told not to say, to talk about this by my dad. Yes, this is but, a very so, sneaky. Sorry, Mark. Uh, this is a great story. Um, <laughs> it's a good story. So when he got back to back to the U.S., uh, he went over to my brother's house and my brother and his girlfriend, and they all ordered Chinese food together. They watched some of the March Madness. So nice. And um, before he left, they sent. He really he loves fortune cookies because last time we were home, he ate all of them. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> he just loves those fortune cookies. Loves so fortune cookies. I guess my brother and his girlfriend asked for extra ones from this place because it's the fortune cookies are good apparently. Yeah. They look different. They look like little. Yeah, they look like a little seeds on them or, or something. something. Yeah, strange. I would I would like them too. So he asked for <laughs> he. They gave him some more. He asked for some more. So he they package up a couple extra um, fortune cookies with his um, his food and his to go foods and give it give it to him to take back home. And he gets home and he messages me and he goes, I got to tell you this story. <laughs> it's like I, I ate my leftover Chinese food. I go back to the bag to go get these fortune cookies and I open it and it's cat shit. <laughs> and I'm like. What? what? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? And he sends me a picture, and it's in this white plastic bag, mm-hmm. and inside of that bag was an open paper towel, and there's two poop nuggets inside of this paper towel. Uh, so we're trying to figure out, and my dad sent this message, and he's like, oh, my God, I was so embarrassed. Did I grab the wrong bag? Did they give me the wrong bag? It's like, they're probably never going to invite me over for dinner again. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, why are you embarrassed? Why would you be embarrassed? You went to dinner with, you know, you went and ate dinner with my my brother Mm -hmm. and you came home with cat shit. So (laughs) it's like, you should not be embarrassed in this situation. And, you know, they have two cats. Your parents do not have any cats anymore. No, no cats. They pass, so no pets. Pets. Yeah. <laughs> so and, many people that don't know. Yeah. So um so of course I, I say you should tell them. This is like, you know, they're they have a good sense of humor. They'll think it's funny really good and want to figure out where it is where it's from. Yeah. So he's like, No, 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 I'm I'm too embarrassed. They might never invite me over again, which why did you poop in the bag? Yeah, right? yeah mean, like what the it's, fuck? It's obviously animal poop. It it you know. Yeah, yeah. It some, wasn't either of your faults. <laughs> no, exactly. So of course I immediately like message them and yes. say, Hey, like what's going on here? You know, I, you know, I'm sorry, dad, if you're hearing this and I, and I did tell them, even though you told me not to, I thought they would find it funny and they did, and they did, but they are so confused by what so happened. Confused. This so, is like the great mystery. Yeah. Going so on. we're going back and forth and I'm trying to like get information out of my dad of what happened and then relaying it through Alex and Sarah. Mm-hmm. So to try to figure out like what was going on. So we first were analyzing the bag. So I was like, what did you give him it inside of the bag? Yeah. And 
or or was, was it like, or is it separate? What was the transportation like? Yeah, Where, so, what was the food in? How did the process go? Right. All of it. You're asking all the the hard hitting questions. So we look at the white <laughs> uh, plastic bag, and you can see a little bit of red on it, and it looks like there's like Chinese writing on it. Mm-hmm. And she goes, "Well, first of all, she's like, we most of our bags are high V bags, which is the grocery store not in the Midwest, mm-hmm. and um, our Chinese food place just uses plain bags that say thank you on the side. Yeah, and so we're like." Okay, so okay. did he go in? You know, every Midwestern family, and maybe everybody, but at least Midwestern families mm-hmm. have a bag of plastic bags yes. in their pantry <laughs> or under their their sink or whatever, just to reuse for random shit. Reuse literally, them. Literally, apparently. Uh, yes, so dog poop if you have dogs, cat poop if you have cats, and a lot of moms will use it for, you know, your tiny little bathroom trash cans. That's yeah. what my mom always uses. Exactly. Yep. So we're like, okay, so did he grab a bag out of his bags when he got home? Yeah. And then maybe... Like when Tiger was there, he pooped somewhere and they picked up the poop and then put it back with their bags. But then Tiger had passed over six months ago. Yeah. We didn't uh, even think him first. We were thinking of the cats. But yeah, well, that initially yeah. when we thought that they had given him the poop. Right. Then we we're like, oh, well, maybe one of their cats pooped in the bag. And we we're like, well, they did the same thing. They have the bags in the bags. And that wouldn't really make sense because right. why would you pick up cat poop and put it in a bag? Yeah. Um, whatever. And their but, cats only poop in the litter box, they were saying. And, right. Know. So that was another thing that she, like so for a while i've been going back and forth like in this story i'm going <laughs> okay it's probably from my brother and and uh girlfriend's cat and then i'm going no nah, it's probably from my dad yeah. like where did he pick this up at <laughs> and we're going back and forth and so then she comes back with the bag uh and she looks at it again because th- it did look like there was chinese writing on mm-hmm. it we find out it was like crumpled up a little bit in the picture and she pulls out one of her uh grocery store bags and they look similar it's a qr code oh, okay. that's how like non-cultured we are we thought a qr <laughs> code was fucking chinese writing well you had like a crumpled up picture right. and it was just the little <laughs> corner so i mean i was proud of you guys for Looking at the picture, zooming in, and you figured out, oh, this is high V lettering. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. <laughs> so then we, um, so I'm looking at the poop, and I'm like, it doesn't look like cat poop. No. And what uh, Sarah brought up a good point, and she's like, like she said, first of all, cats don't just poop on the floor typically. Right. They poop in their litter box. Right. And if she had pulled it out of the litter box, like they were cleaning it up or whatever, yeah, it would have litter all stuck to exactly. it. Exactly. You know, so. It would be like clumps. because they- Yeah their stuff club so i'm thinking maybe they picked something up outside so in this point i'm like maybe they did give it to him Hmm. and whatever and then we look at the paper towel so i'm zooming in on the paper towel i'm doing like (laughs) i'm changing the (laughs) you know the contrast and the brightness and you know the exposure trying to figure out the pattern on it yeah so uh, (laughs) on the paper towel he sent and so then we look at uh my brothers and we're saying send us a picture of yours and they're different Different. So we're Completely like, different. and most people buy the same brand of paper towel over and over yeah. again. Well, she had said like they got a big Costco, you know, box of them. So they weren't using new ones, you know, all the time. It was the same ones. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then we're like, okay, it has to be theirs. How can I ask him to send me pictures of their paper towels without <laughs> asking him and knowing that I'm relaying this information? Because this is all a big fucking mystery we've been trying to figure out. All day. Yeah. And your dad doesn't even really seem bothered by it. He's like, I'm going out to watch uh, the basketball game or wrestling match or something. You're like, wait a minute. I have 20 more questions. Yeah, because I was asking questions like, (laughs) how were you handed the bag? Was it inside the other one? Was it not? Was it tied? Was it what? So they said and so then I'm like, okay, this is definitely him. You know, like he he did something like he picked it up or whatever. (laughs) And then uh, my brother and his girlfriend said that he put the the fortune, um, cookies. fortune cookies into his pocket yeah. in his jacket pocket before he left and then so i was trying to say to him like oh did did you happen to like you know maybe shove them in your pockets or you know your fanny pack or something before you left and he's like no no he's like actually i forgot my jacket at their house and i had to come back and get it so then i go back to my brother and his girlfriend i was like okay maybe it's y'all's fault because yeah. how did you say you gave it to him and he put it in his pocket of his jacket if he didn't bring his jacket yeah. Oh, no, I'm back on that train. I'm yeah. like, oh, the, they did. Or it's, from, <laughs> it's from their cat. Or, you know, maybe they had dog poop in their yard they picked up. Yeah. So um, we're going back and forth. And he he was like, well, oh, and the other problem was not only where did this poop come from, where are the fortune cookies? Yeah. Like fortune cookies are missing so the, and we have poop. So something's <laughs> like happening here. Like, so whether, so if he did grab the wrong bag, the fortune cookies should be there still. Right. Well, they weren't there. And then they let us know that they were in one of those like kind of wax paper bags that like egg rolls little, are in. Yeah. A little egg roll bag. Yeah. So I was like, okay, so they weren't in like 
a separate bag. Yeah. And I was like, well, what happened to like the, the thing? And she's like, he put it in his pocket. I was like, okay. So fortune cookies were in the pocket. Chinese is in the high V bag yeah. tied up, ready to go. Yeah. And so then I was asking her, well, how did you, um, you know, put it in the bag or whatever with all the food and everything? She's like, well, I tied it up. I was like, okay, so it wasn't possible for him to put something inside of this. I mean, not, it wasn't possible, but if he's just riding home with the bag, yeah. he's not, he's gonna, not falling in. Yeah. It's not just going <laughs> to fall into there. So he obviously, it obviously was already in there. So I'm yeah. back on thinking it's their fault. Yeah. And so then I finally go, well, send me a picture of your, your paper towels. And he sends me a picture and they're not the same. Oh my God. They're completely different. No one and, has a magic paper towel. And not only that, he lays them both out. And the one that was in the the bag was twice the width of the one that he had. So it's yeah. they're completely different brands. Different. They weren't like those tear size yeah. whatever paper towels. So he goes and he's like, "I'm gonna message them and ask them, hey, uh, did I leave the fortune cookies there?'" So he does that, asks them, and they're like, "No, we yeah. gave them to you." And he's like, "Oh yeah, that's right." So he goes back, looks in his car. Finds the fortune cookies. Oh, they yeah. had fallen down on the passenger seat between the door and the seat. And he sends a picture. Uh-huh. They were in that little bag that she was oh, talking about. Yep, yep. So now we're like, all right, fortune, fortune cookie, <laughs> check. Where the fuck did this poop come from? Where did the poop come so from? So he, I'm trying to get more information on him. He's talking and stuff, and he has this guy that's a a celebrity vet friend in Texas. Oh, and God. he goes, "Do you think I should ask Bob if, uh, you know, if this is dog or cat poop?" And I go, "Absolutely, do not do that." <laughs> Um, Bob, if you're listening, we we love you and appreciate all your pet advice over the years, and we are so sorry yeah, so, <laughs> for him sending you poop. Yeah. So I was like, do not do that. No. Uh, I was like, it's it looks like dog poop to me. Yeah. Like I don't have cats, but I I kind of can tell the difference, and I know what dog poop usually looks like. I was like, it's that, and and then he goes, he goes, well, what about that uh, Gemini AI thing you were telling me about? Do you think you can ask that if this is dog or cat poop? Pardon. <laughs> And I go, that's why no, they made it. No, they can't. It cannot. They can't. It cannot. Yeah, I was like, just think about like, you can't tell the difference between a, a human poop and a, you know, like, I mean, you could. Yeah. But yeah. this thing is not going to know the difference. I was like, everybody's shit looks different. You Maybe know? he thought there'd be an app like, uh, like the one you can take a picture of your plants and know what type of plant it is or how to take care of it. He's like, oh. There's probably an app or, you know, something that can take a picture of this poop and know what kind of poop it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I could see where he's coming from. Yeah. It's not too crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Poop me. The poop. new app. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is going on like all day. Yeah. And you really were. We're all going back and day. forth. We're analyzing things, trying to figure <laughs> out who it went. And he's like not answering some of my questions. So I'm thinking like maybe yeah. he knows it's him and is he, he doesn't. Yeah. But then he came back and did answer them. That so. does seem like a dad thing to do. You know, you're walking up in your son's yard for dinner and you see some random poop and you're like, God, you know, people should be picking this poop up and you pick it up and take it inside or maybe his house. There's, you know. People, people's dogs poop in your yard oh, all yeah. the time. Well, then I was thinking, well, what if, or we were yeah, talking about his yard when he got home, but yeah. then they were like, well, he probably picked it up in the yard when he got home. And I was like, well, let's CSI this again. <laughs> it's like he got home eight, nine o'clock. It's dark out. He parks in the garage. Yep. Why would he be walking out to the yard in the dark and find poop, pick it up in a bag and then forget about it in the 10 seconds that he went inside? Exactly. You know? Yeah. So that didn't make Seems any sense. Kind of weird. Um, a little sus. so this was like going on, like I said, all day. Yeah. And then the next day he messages me and he goes, I've solved it. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. And I Stop was like, the presses. Oh, we got it. Do tell. <laughs> How did you get delivered shit in your Chinese food? Yes. Please tell me. Please. Cause this is a normal family conversation. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of poop yeah. combo. So he goes down, <laughs> um, to, uh, our, the rental that they have downtown yeah. and, um, he, I can't remember what he was doing down there. He's just doing some work on when something. He, when he flew in, his car was there. Mm-hmm. So that's where he was first, right? Right. Maybe, but no, this like was that. afterwards. I mean, because oh, this was after they, he'd gotten home and whatever. True. So he'd gone down there for something to fix something or whatever. And he looks at the paper towels and they're the same ones. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay. We yeah. got a match. So the so... the townhouse it has the same paper, paper towels. So he must have had some like in his car at some point yep. from there. Maybe take him to blow your nose yeah. or if you spill something. So this is his theory, but also I agree because this is kind of what we've been saying. Yeah. So when we had had Tiger down there, when Tiger was getting a little older, he was having trouble holding his 
you know, holding his stuff. Holding his little nuggies yeah. when he'd cough. So every now and then, yeah, we'd find a little <laughs> poop nuggie because yeah. um, he'd cough it out because he was, you know, had the collapsing trachea. Coughing so hard. So right. what we think happened and what he thinks happened, he found one there at some point down at the townhouse house because it was like hardened, mm-hmm. like it was old. Petrified. And <laughs> picked it up in a paper towel, put it in a bag, put it in his car to bring back for some reason i don't know maybe he didn't want to leave it in the trash down there and have it stink or whatever True. so i guess that makes sense because i was like why would you just throw it in the trash we're just with picking up other things and forgot yeah. to you know and when they were in january when they were flying down to mexico they it was a really bad snowstorm and so typically what they do is if it's a really early flight they will drive down to the airport park their car there fly out and then have like my brother or a friend or something come pick up the car and, and take it out of the the parking so it's not sitting there just racking up money right when they were doing that he lost his car keys and so g- going into the airport yeah. i believe so he went back to the car and is just tearing up the car pulling bags and trash and everything out from under the seats in between this or whatever <laughs> and so what we think was when he went home from the Chinese food meal, yes, there was a bag that was maybe shoved under his seat, and he grabbed that since the other one had fallen down. Grabbed the poop bag and took it in and put it in the fridge with his food, with his leftover Chinese food. That seems the most reasonable. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which none of this is reasonable, oh but this is, I think, what happened. So we we cracked the case. It, that was a long case, and from the minute I saw that poop, I said, "Oh, that's Tiger's poop." The, the minute you showed me that, like, I we thought were like, so too. That's but not cat poop, that's petrified tiger little nuggies. That looks exactly like his little nuggies. But P- Tiger passed in October. Yeah. We had been there with him in August, August, July, August. Yeah. And we had gone back in December without him, obviously. Right. So we, we <laughs> didn't think that there would be poop in a bag for, you know, seven, eight months, you know. Maybe he was saving it for us because. I don't know. I think it just got kicked <laughs> under the seat. Yeah. But Lord. <laughs> wow. I love it that he thought that your brother and girlfriend accidentally or purposely put poop or, but I don't know why he'd be embarrassed. This, yeah, this was like exactly. a very odd and story. Even <laughs> after figuring out what actually happened, he still won't say, yeah. he's, he's like, no, I don't want to tell him. He's like, I'm glad I, I, I didn't like, say anything. But they didn't give you poop. <laughs> they, it didn't happen. They didn't give you poop. I mean, I don't know if he's embarrassed that he like mistaken, you know, his whole story like played out this way. But I mean, it's it's a funny story. It's, it's not embarrassing. It's just something funny that happens in life. So funny. It could happen to anybody. And uh, I'm glad we solved the poop mystery of 2024. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Uh, so, yeah. So that was fun. Mm-hmm. That took up a, like a whole day. Right. Right. <laughs> and then also uh, this is. This is ha- this happened right before my mom left, and the last night that we were having dinner with my mom before she went back to uh, to the U.S., yep. we were sitting at a restaurant outside on the corner of this kind of like somewhat busy intersection, mm-hmm. and it's a good uh, people watching. Courtney. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> and I turn around and people are kind of like looking over towards the intersection, and I see this guy, and he's standing in the middle of the just of the crossway, just kind of like. At the end of uh, Mortal Kombat, when they're like about to die and they're like their legs are stained, but their bodies wobble around. Yeah, he's just like wobbling. Um, at one point, though, it seemed like the wind blew him back, yeah. and he's just kind of wobbling around through this intersection. And I mean, I swear he was like conducting traffic at one point. His cars are going by. Kind of looked like it, right? Yeah. <laughs> there's uh sand all over his butt so he's clearly been drinking at the beach you know yeah. easter weekend um yeah so he's just kind of wobbling around then he kind of wanders over to uh where this wine bar is and you could tell that they weren't having it over there no. so the manager comes out calls the policia <laughs> the policia show up and they talk to him for a second and they send him right back into traffic <laughs> He just walks away into like right in front of all the cars down the street. Like, hello. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you saw this guy, right? Yeah. No shirt he, on. No shirt. Sandy jeans, wet jeans. Just looked like nobody was He may home. have had sunglasses on at night. I don't know. I don't know. He yeah. just, no one was home. No. no, he was just trying to like, where am I? Trying to figure it out. And I, yeah, they just sent him. They were like, oh, you got it? Got it. Nope. Right back into traffic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so after he, he walked back into traffic, he walks down the street a ways and I was like, 
Oh, this is great content. I got to yeah. follow this We're guy. Like, go, go. Yeah. <laughs> go. So I walk down to the next corner where there's a busier street. Yeah. And this guy is kind of falling into this bar and all the people there are like, what is oh. going on? <laughs> Here comes the policia again on their little four wheelers. Yeah. And the next thing I realize is this uh, one of the, the officers is taking this guy and walking him across the busy intersection oh. and getting him back into the locals neighborhood. Oh. Oh, so yeah. nice, a little escort service yeah, back a, to your neighborhood. Yeah, it had a <laughs> had a nice uh, ending to it. Oh, but I love just it. Just it's good to know you're never too old to need a crossing guard to get you home. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's so sweet. Oh yeah, but oh, man, that guy was having a good night. He was having a good night. He needed some help, and everybody was just. I loved how even the cops were just kind of giggling. You yeah, know? they were like, "Oh, this is you know, they must know him or something." I mean, I know they was, probably stopped him a lot. Our servers were laughing. They're all just like, "Oh." Typical day in Mexico. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, and then let's see what else we do. Oh, we had a, an Easter party at yeah, our pool. A little Easter pool party. It was like very last minute. We were like, <laughs> we had some friends that were doing a dinner and we didn't like really feel like going and like being in a giant potluck or anything like that. We yeah. just kind of wanted, we usually like for holidays anymore, we just kind of cook dinner at home and chill. Maybe have a one or two friends over. Yeah. So we're like, oh, what is it? we don't even want to cook like a full Easter dinner. Let's just make some appetizers. And yeah. we invited invited our friends Jorge and Mary Lou mm-hmm. and a couple other people in the building. And uh, we just went up to the pool and had some snacks and, yep. you know, some meat and cheese and wine and music. Music. I made um, like pigs in a blanket kind yeah. of. Um, Those were good. Yeah. I mean, little, little salchichas with the. Oh, yeah. The. the Crescent rolls around it. Yeah. yeah. And cheese on the inside. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I made deviled eggs. You did? Which, Completely last minute, I was just like, oh, I got, it, it's Easter, we're not coloring eggs or anything, so yeah. I at least got to make some deviled eggs, and you don't really like them, so um, so I'm like, well, this will be a good holiday for me to make them. So. You knocked it out of the park. Everyone was so happy. They're so, either they knew uh, deviled eggs and loved them, or we had a couple of friends from, you know, the area that were like, what are these? Yeah. Oh, and they introduced them to deviled eggs, which I never, the, I thought that was a thing everywhere. The funny thing was, is I, like, asked people, like, do you know what these are? Cause one of our, our friend is from Holland. Um, you know, and then we have like our Mexican friends there and stuff. So I asked him like, do you guys know what, de-? cause I don't, I mean, that seems like a, just a white people holiday yeah. food. You know, it doesn't <laughs> yeah, seem like, sure. you know, and a made up name, whatever. <laughs> and they're like, Oh yeah, yeah, we know what those are. Yeah, yeah. totally. Um, know. but then our, our one Canadian friend yes. was like, what are these things? Oh <laughs> I was gosh. like, how have you not heard of these <laughs> tiny little egg vessels? I was like, these are called deviled eggs. <laughs> yeah. And then you said somebody called them angel eggs or something. Someone right? said, uh, they could also be called angel eggs. I don't know if they're prepared different or maybe that's just, since it's a you know a religious holiday, you don't want to say, say deviled devil. eggs. But then you looked up deviled eggs, and it's not like you know. Yeah, because it's not devil devils. eggs; it's deviled, deviled eggs. And I can't remember what devil deviled is like the act of like putting spices in in something or yeah. something like that. Like the way you prepare it. Yeah, because like you know how you make deviled. Egg. Hey, let me look it up real quick. <laughs> But yeah, everyone was very like they loved them and uh, were shocked by them or pleased by them. <laughs> oh, it's uh, foods cooked with hot seasoning infused into them. So you can have like deviled shrimp. You, you can do uh, different things deviled, spicy. apparently. Gotcha. Yeah. So not a, not a too weird of a thing. But yeah, I was surprised some people didn't yeah. know and, and who did know. Um, and then the, the funny thing was after we watched the sunset, mm-hmm. everybody was winding down it's Sunday night where, you know, everybody's kind of going their own way. And one of our friends, she was like, no, nah, you know, I'm going to have another drink, go out to the bar over here or whatever, and just kind of have a drink, wind down, you know, by myself, call some of my family members. And I was yeah. like, okay, that's cool. Do it up. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so the next day <laughs> I wake up in, and I'm just kind of in the morning, just scrolling through Instagram stories and stuff, you know, whatever. Yeah. And my buddy uh, had posted, there's this uh, person in his bar doing <laughs> yoga in the middle of the floor and the video is from behind and she's like stretching down and then sits up and I see this girl's hair and I go oh my god it's our friend that's our friend <laughs> <laughs> could definitely notice her hair from afar yes. oh my gosh yeah what are you doing yoga on the floor at the bar lady <laughs> uh, we haven't even asked her about it yet. no <laughs> yeah. it looked like no one was there so maybe they were closing up and they're like do whatever you want it's mexico yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> 
So, um, so that's pretty much it for this last weekend. A good little Easter holiday. We just kind of uh, the other days this weekend we just went to the beach and it was nice. Very... Twice actually, we went to the beach Friday and Saturday. It, the beach was gorgeous this weekend. There's no sargasso, and we invited another bunch of. It kind of wasn't our typical friends that we see on the weekend, so it was a nice little mix of people that we haven't seen in a while. Mm-hmm. Um, and this weekend we are. Hopefully, we're in Texas right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So as uh, y'all probably know, there is the uh, solar eclipse, the total, total eclipse. Total solar um, eclipse. Yeah. In, uh, on Monday. Yep. So the plan was, so I don't know if you guys remember <laughs> it, people from Atlanta, Davi from the Burt Show, uh, she had reached out to me and said that they were going to go to Mazatlan, mm-hmm. which is on the west coast of Mexico, and see if we were interested in going mm-hmm. and i was like oh that i mean this was like last august yeah. so i was like oh yeah that'd be great um we're in i'll start looking for flights we have a neighbor that her parents have a place there so i think we can stay and i've been looking for the last couple months and it has been six to eight hundred dollars a ticket which, which is which crazy totally because usually the tickets within mexico are like 50 bucks 100 bucks yeah, you know not cheap. super expensive but it is a more touristy area on the West Coast, and then with the eclipse going on, and it's one of the cities that the path of totality is going through. They know. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm like I, I got to go to this thing. I went to the one in Georgia with Brandy uh, up in the North Georgia Mountains. Mm-hmm. We went up there, and we were in totality, and it was like, I don't, I hate to be like, oh, it was a life-changing experience, because it wasn't a life-changing experience, but it really made you rethink life and contemplate, like, you know what it was just like this really inspirational moment where the the sun kind of got dim obviously and everything was <laughs> like orange like everything looked like you're on mars it was oh. like this orangey look and all the birds stopped we we're in the kind of the wilderness you know mm-hmm. we we're up in the mountains uh all the birds and animal insects nothing was chirping oh. or making any noise it, it was, was just like you. this eerie feeling like that you just <laughs> felt like there was something big. it's probably what religious people feel like i guess but yeah, <laughs> it's some, like something, it, bigger. something bigger than yourself for sure and so i was like i gotta get back into that that feeling because what i've read at least in north america this is the last one until 2033 like the last total solar eclipse oh, okay and then after that, it's 2054. Oh, wow. So, I, you know, it's like there's only, you know, probably two more in our lifetime. Yeah. Only so many we're going to get yeah. to. <laughs> uh, so I was like, I got to go to this. Um, so I'm looking all over. I'm trying to, like, I'm looking at every city. And first of all, every way to get to this place in Mexico, ain't no, no way to get there. There's no other airports close. And even if there is, it's like an eight hour drive. Um, so it just financially it was not working out. Yeah. And um, it wasn't the best area to drive through. Or something yeah. Like, like outside uh, Sinaloa is like can be kind of a cartel kind of area where there's some yeah stuff going on there. So um, yeah, we're, <laughs> I don't want to go there. Yeah. I mean, if we were flying right into there, it's fine because it's, it's somewhat near Puerto Vallarta. And so, you okay. know, people go there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking all around uh, different cities and stuff. And uh, I find Dallas, and it's like 130 bucks round trip. Oh, ooh. so I was like, "Fuck yeah!" So I'm asking you, like, do you want to go? And you weren't, uh, you weren't really wanting to go. Like, we just had my parents in town. We have yeah. your brother coming in town at the end of the month. Yep. Um, it's like, oh, this might be a nice little, uh, you know, solo opportunity. You can go. You like to. You have no problem traveling by yourself. I can stay here and see some girlfriends and get some work done, whatever. So I kind of was. I was thinking about it. Yeah. You know? and, and I'm totally cool. With, like, I love I love to travel by myself as well. And I love that you love to travel by yourself. And sometimes. I totally would have been fine just going by myself. But it was like, I don't know. This was like something I wanted to share with you because yeah. uh, you didn't get to really experience the last one. We were in Atlanta and you were at work. So I think right. you just had to go outside of your office. And, and yeah, it was still was pretty cool, I'm sure. But yeah. it wasn't like path of totality. I don't even remember if I got to go outside my office. We were so busy. I was working for... The logistics company at right. the time is a slave, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, so um, you made it sound like super. You know, it is special. It is a special occurrence that you got me thinking. I was like, I should go. This would be fun. You know, whatever. And then also, I was like, I have some girly friends that we could see in Dallas. So that was an extra cherry on top. Yeah. So <laughs> well, initially it was. So I was just going. So I booked my ticket. I booked it for today. Mm-hmm. Um. 
So I don't get in till, or I didn't, whatever, however you want to phrase it. I, <laughs> five o'clock is when my plane landed. So if you're waiting for my beer chug, it's going to be a little bit late today because <laughs> I'm doing it today in Dallas. Um, so I booked mine for today for the, the flight that landed at five, then leaving on Tuesday, the day after the eclipse. Mm-hmm. And, and that was the other thing was like, if you were coming, we could have a place to stay for two days. Yep. And if not, then I'm like staying in a hostel or trying to find somebody else's couch I can crash on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, so I'd already booked my ticket. Then you were like, yeah, I think I do want to go. And I was like, yay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it was like, yay. I mean, I wanted you yay. to go, but I was frustrated <laughs> because I had already booked my ticket. Yeah. And I found out the hard way on Spirit that you cannot change your ticket. Even to just the earlier flight, it costs $99 to just change it. And even the flight's it's, like the same price. The right? same price, the same day, just the earlier one. So then I'm starting to look, oh, can you fly... Uh, standby on spirit because I could have I could book you the earlier flight Mm -hmm. and then we could go earlier and I could see if um you you know if I could get in on it you still have if there if there are seats on the earlier flight that are open you still have to pay $99 to switch your ticket or to to be available for standby yeah and if uh the only the only way you can fly standby on spirit and not have to pay is if you uh, if that flight is full, you can go on standby for that flight oh. and not have to pay and just hope that somebody doesn't show up. Ugh. So it's not even like if they have an extra seat or whatever. If there's a seat open, yeah. you got to pay nine nine dollars. Spirit, right. I love you and hate you at the same yeah. time. I, I definitely I, I don't mind spirit. There's just some things here and there. Yeah. Definitely not a huge fan of, of Frontier, no. you know, but Spirit's been pretty good to us. I hate Frontier. Yeah. I will say that just. Hate him, hate yes. him, hate him. <laughs> so I couldn't change it. I was going to book you on the earlier one because it was a tad cheaper, um, but then I'd have to get to the airport three hours ahead of time. You'd yeah. have to wait there for three hours in Dallas. Yep. Um, so I booked you the same one. Yay. Yeah. So we're on the <laughs> we were on the same flight, and I go into um into spirits like talk to me or their little chatty Chat thing, thing. Their chatty bot. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm asking them like, hey, can I combine my reservations? Because yeah. normally most airlines you can just do that. Like if on Delta, if I booked a flight and then you booked a flight or whatever, we can combine the reservations together so we can check in together. You know, like usually I do that anyway. Like if I would have yeah. booked them together so I can check us both in, I'll send you our tickets. I'll, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. You're my, uh, you're my, uh, what do I call it? Travel agent. Travel agent. Yes. You're my travel agent. <laughs> so I get on the chat with these guys and I was like, hey, uh, I'd like to combine my itineraries. And the chat guy, and this isn't a bot at this point. This is a real person. Yeah. And he goes, sure, I'd be happy to help you with combining your itineraries. Can you send me your reservation number? So I do. And then he's like, um, he's like, oh, I see you haven't selected a seat. Would you like to, uh, for $44, uh, select this one now before they sell out? And I go, no, I'm good. Uh, I appreciate it. I'm just trying to combine these seats. And he goes, why do you want to combine them? And I was like, I bought my wife. Or I bought a ticket. My wife got one. I paid for both of these on my uh, with my spirit account on my credit card, my spirit credit card. So I would just like to combine my two tickets that I purchased together. Yeah. And he goes, or, are you sure? Do uh, What do you say? Uh, something again about the seats. Yeah. Like, well, you know, the, it's getting close to the the flight day. Like, these seats are going to be sold out. Would, are you sure you don't want to purchase a seat? Are you an aisle or window guy? And I was like, well, again, no. I was like, again, I appreciate it, but I'd really just like to combine these two itineraries. Yeah. And he goes, oh, well, that's not possible. After like 15, 20 minutes. Is it possible if I want to buy a seat, then you can come buy my itineraries? Right. Um, yeah. I'm sure. No, no, you didn't say it. He said, <laughs> I said, well, why is that? He goes, only if it's a uh, unaccompanied minor, can you combine the seats or accompanied minor or whatever, you know, it's like, if it's a minor, you can combine the. Sure. I'm sure. I'm a minor. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I was like, oh. and at this point we both know what's going on. Like right. me and the, this agent I'm chatting with. Yeah. I know that if I combine our itineraries, they will, when they randomly select our seats, because I ain't paying 40 bucks for a seat, right. they're going to put us together. Right. They usually put us in a, a middle and an aisle or a middle and a, and a window. Mm-hmm. But since we have two separate uh, reservations, mm-hmm. when they randomly pick our seats, they're probably going to put us both in, in the, the aisles, or not aisle, the center seat. Middle the seat, middle seat, yeah, 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 which sucks, obviously. So I know... I know that. And I feel like he knows I know that because he's like, why do you want to change it? Hey, yeah. do you want to upgrade your seat? Like he's trying to sell me a seat. So clearly he knows what's going on here. Of course. And so I was just like, uh, and so the whole thing is, I was like, I appreciate you looking into it. But in the future, when yeah. you say you can help me combine the itineraries and then you try to spend 20 minutes selling me a seat and then tell me 
that impossible. that's impossible. <laughs> Maybe skip all that other bullshit because now I'm just frustrated and I'm a loyal customer. So, yeah. you know, fucking. They're probably like, this is airlines. our protocol, copy paste bullshit, whatever, whatever. So what we're going to do is when we go to the airport, I'm just going to go up all sweet and be like, hey, you know, can we, me and my husband are stupid. We didn't book it together. Can we sit by each other or something? And then usually they're like, yeah, sure. Or whatever. When you get up there. So yeah. we'll just ask again. Yeah, exactly. So we will see. Yes, <laughs> but I'm sure we'll have some good stories. I'm gonna get some good video. I got. I'm bringing my 360 camera, and my GoPro, and my phone, and I bought the glasses and everything for us already. So awesome. Uh, yeah, so it should be a good time. Get some good beers in Dallas. If anybody has any food or drink suggestions, please let us know. Yes, please. Um, for Dallas, because you know we're newbies ish. I mean, we've been to Dallas. We just haven't hung out in Dallas a ton. Yeah, we haven't you know. got to explore. A yeah, lot. so um, so, so be great. hope everybody enjoys the solar eclipse should be super fucking awesome I, yes. I wonder how like even if you're not like in the path of totality can you still see it if you're like states over i don't even know i'm sure it probably i mean it's just like very partial eclipse or yeah, something I'll probably get to yeah. see a little bit of it yeah cool well, right. i'm excited yeah me too mm-hmm. all right well if you'd like to support the podcast and uh our seat upgrades <laughs> <laughs> uh buy me a coffee virtual seats yeah right <laughs> buy me a coffee.com forward slash hansons on hiatus and get us some virtual beers uh, and support the podcast and what we're doing here. If you're enjoying our stories, thank you very much. Uh, also, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, iTunes, Google Podcasts, at Hanson's on Hiatus. Uh, hope you guys have a great, safe rest of your weekend. Happy Friday, fuckers. Happy Friday, fuckies. That's it. Thanks for listening. Goodbye for now. Bye, ee.